this is how I am taking what I think is a traditional approach to carving out a wire harp from a block of lime. This is my traditional mallet. This is the gouge that I'm working on, working with for this project. Um, it's an inch wide. It's about 130 years old. The handle's new. The handle will be changed probably several times. So, first thing I do is cut around the outline so that I don't cut into the side walls. gone around the rest of it. Now I just gouge out some of what I can. Surprisingly, this is easier done like this without the mallet. It gives a smoother finish to it so that later I'll come in with a shallower gouge and clear out the ridges. That's when I get all the way to the bottom. I've actually got quite a few days of this kind of labor left. You can only do so much at a time. It is a little bit rough on the hands. And my arm actually starts to get a little numb after a while. And if I did this all day, I'd get these big Popeye type forearms. I'm really not interested in that. The center can be a little bit higher. The string rib is of course going to get dug down as well. But in the end there, there will be a, maybe a bit more thickness, and perhaps like a bit of a double arching from side to side. So that's one side done. Move the chips over and go over to the other side. And you can see about an eighth of an inch thick, between the eighth and three sixteenths. What's coming off? So it goes fairly quickly, but both the laborer, me, and the wood need to take a rest from time to time. So in between operations like this, the sides can get attacked with a shallow gouge to straighten them out. And when it's resting, it rests in a traditional blue plastic bag that I'm sure they had four or 500 years ago as well. And that's it. If things don't explode or crack 
or burn or whatever. We'll try and make another little film with a different kind of operation later.